Mr. Deputy President, the diaspora, we do a lot. We send money home. Every day, even just 30 minutes ago, I send money. <laughs> Situnatuma, we send every day. In America, people are paid either twice or every week. I get paid every, like, like I, today, I think, yeah, today, it came in. <laughs> so what we do every time we receive money, Bana David President, our families, our economy, it goes there. And it is so sad that nothing happens. The government doesn't notice that. And that's why we are here to tell you that, Bana David President, our voices must be heard this time. <laughs> we also create businesses. We have people here, they have their businesses back home. They bottom up. I can tell you, I have a sister. She lives in uh, uh, Joska. She has a small business. I support her. She takes care of her. And that is just an example. We are building small businesses. And when you mention bottom up, Bana Deputy President, we know it all. They call us. Mapte piki piki imeishi hapa. Yeah? Nikona mteja. Tuma kitu niongeze mafuta nifikishe mteja nyumbani. We do that all the time, Bana Deputy President. Last year, Bana Deputy President, we sent 3.7 billion US dollars. That is an equivalent to almost 400 billion Kenya shillings, back home. 2020, we did the same. 2019, we did the same. The curve has been going high every year. Last month alone, the recent data I have, we sent 334 million Kenya shillings. Yeah, US dollars. Sorry for that. Back home. So the reason why I'm saying our voices must be heard we are participating. We are doing it every day. We are going to vote for the first time. America, Canada, the diaspora. They, I think we have at least 12 countries. But we are disappointed because the voting is not going to happen. Like the numbers are not going to be so huge. 